So I woke up this morning, checked my phone to realize that there's 5% on the battery. And I'm wondering, it's plugged into the wall, why isn't my phone working? Well, for some reason, none of my outlets in my apartment work. I have light right now, my fans are working, my AC is working, but none of my outlets have power. My back room wall unit doesn't have uh, power as well. And it made me think, I live in a duplex. It's basically a house split in half. I have the left side, and the persons have the right side. Now the person to the right side just moved out and I figured today is probably when or like last night is when their uh, electricity probably got shut off. And I'm thinking my like my apartment is hooked up to their FPNL bill. So my wall unit or my window unit AC is hooked up to theirs because their power is off. Now also the washer and dryer is off and that means that theirs hooked up to it. So that means I just texted them. I was like, yo, what are you guys paying on FPNL? Because I just found out that a whole bunch of my stuff is hooked up to their power bill. So that's kind of strange because I was actually planning on moving to that side, but I don't want to be moving. <coughs> <coughs> but I don't want to be moving to that side knowing that I'm going to have to pay for other people's power. Like that just doesn't make sense at all. Sorry, I just coughed. That's why like my eyes are watery and shit. Um, so I'm waiting for my landlord to call me back. It's about 8.30. I figured maybe he gets into the office at 9. Um, but that is super strange how like I don't have power in my house. And like, I don't know, hopefully we get it like worked out. Because if I do move to the other side, we got to work out like, you know, I'm not going to pay anything over than what I'm paying now on a and l And they cover the rest just because I don't want to move and like my fp &L goes up like double the price it just doesn't make sense at all but for today i do is monday you know we have to ship out a lot of packages but i can't ship out packages till i get my power working so that's why i kind of have to wait for him to answer because my rollo uh printer works by plugging it in you know i can use my laptop i can use my wi-fi but i can't use my printer so i need to wait for the power to come on so that way it can work um so I felt like for the meantime, maybe I'll just hit up a couple thrift stores. I think they open around 9, 10 o'clock, so I'll wait another 30 minutes and, uh, you know, hit up some thrift stores and then see if hopefully the power works so we can ship out packages. I think we have another 30, 40 packages. Every Monday is kind of the same deal. We just have a bunch of packages. If you aren't aware, check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. I do sell all the stuff I find, plus a bunch of other stuff, so make sure you guys go check it out. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it started, guys. Nice little double-sided Black History Month. Damn, look at this. Eddie Bauer collab with Burberry? That's kind of sick. I'm not going to even lie. I think I'm going to grab this just because it has like that Burberry inside, but it is an Eddie Bauer still. So unique. Little Harrington. I have no idea what this jacket is, but it's kind of crazy. It has like United States all embroidered action club. It has like stripes going down the sleeves. Action club. Never even heard of it. It's just kind of crazy though. Old school like aqua berry, perfect for the grapes. Little windbreaker. Might pick this up, just a little essential. It is getting summer though, so I'm kind of staying away from windbreakers, but this store also has a $10 minimum, so I'm just going to put stuff and see if I get 10 bucks. This jacket's crazy. I'm pretty sure it's a woman's piece, but little gold accents, gold buttons like throughout. Florida State Seminole National Champions, 1993-1999, made in USA, little long sleeve. Damn, look how crazy this jacket is. I'm almost positive it's a woman's jacket, but look at this thing. This thing is so sick. Oh my gosh. Just super nice. Definitely picking this up. It's very lightweight too, so like perfect for summertime. Damn, I just found these iridescent surf style pants. Sadly, no top though. I'm gonna kind of look around to see if maybe it's mixed in, but oh, there's a huge hole in the crotch. Damn, gotta leave these sadly. Huge hole in the crotch. Which I guess I could sew that up, but eh, I don't know. Probably just leave them. Space jams. I'm not sure if these are authentic though. They want a hundred bucks though. Burberry, 
No uh, print on it though or anything. How much? Little Burberry hit. Oh, hundred bucks. This mountain rat shirt. It's so funny. Well, first thing we see as we walk into Go uh, Goodwill is this bootleg Gucci belt. It's kind of like a light brown monogram. Probably end up grabbing that little Gucci. Not bad. Unfortunately, with Mondays, you guys do know that it's kind of like my packaging day and it takes up basically half of the day. So it is a short video. I did come home and do the packages. It is now currently 545 and I'm just filming this outro. I only hit up about three stores today. You guys did see those Nike Air Force Off-White. I'm almost positive they're not real. Um, you guys let me know in the comments down below by the detailed pictures of what you guys think, if it's real or fake. Um, they wanted $300, so figure they get 30% of whatever they're selling it for. So that means the person sold it for $100. So it just doesn't make sense. For someone that has the Nike off-white Air Force Ones, it, even if they desperately needed money, they wouldn't just sell them for $100. The tab kind of seemed like an off red versus the bright red that it should be. And the actual shoe seemed a little bit smaller, like shorter than like a regular Air Force One should be also. But let me know in the comments down below. Did I take a W, did I take an L? Are they real, are they fake? If they're real, maybe I will go back and cop them and you know, sell them to you guys. If they're fake, then obviously I took the W. Also on the Space Jams, let me know on those. They wanted $100 though. Um, I'm not really sure what the market on the Space Jams, I haven't checked, um, but they just look kind of off. The stitching on the back on the 45 combined together. So again, let me know, did I take a W or an L on those? But let's quickly show you guys the size of everything that I got today. Uh, to start it off, we did get this bootleg Gucci belt with the little G symbol. Um, I tried it on, it doesn't fit me, it's too big, so I'd probably say about a 34, 36. Uh, it does have, on the inside, it says 46, but I don't think it's a 46. I think maybe that's like uh, a different kind of measurement that might be equal to like a 36 or so. But it is the light brown monogram with the little uh, G as the holder. Next, we do have a size... XL Black History Month and like this gold yellow. Honestly, I sold all my Black History Month stuff. Seriously? Can I help you? <laughs> Can I help you, big guy? Get down. Go find your place. Like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Jackson, um, I think I'm going to end up keeping this in the personal or I'm just going to price it a little bit higher, um, probably like $30 shift or so, uh, just because I don't have any Black History Month. I actually sold all of them. You guys know yellow is my favorite color and these would go perfect with my sandals. It is double-sided also, which you know you really can't go wrong with double-sided t-shirts. Black History 365. About a size medium, we do have the Florida State Seminoles long sleeve, $93.99. Super crazy, like all stitched, looking like, honestly, they reminds me of Off-White. Uh, they did with, uh, what's it called? Uh, that movie, oh man, I'm so, like Dorothy, um, I forgot the name of it. I'm like mind blanking, but it reminds me of that. Uh, it has like bedazzled jewels all throughout. Just crazy jacket. It's a woman's large, so probably about a men's medium. Just craziness. Another woman's windbreaker. I just couldn't pass up. The colors, the just patterns, the gold accent with the little buttons. It's just super sick. It says medium, but this also looks like about a men's medium. But just keep in mind, measurements will be listed on my website. This looks a little bit bigger. This is a size XL. We have like the Aqua Berry Jordan Grape colorway with like the teal, purple, and black little lightweight windbreaker. 
And the last find of today, we do have the size medium, little Eddie Bauer slash Burberry. This is just so strange. Like I wouldn't think a company as big as Eddie Bauer would be able to use the Novacek monogram that, or the Novacek uh, that Burberry used. But hey, size medium, super sick inside. So all those items plus about 70 other items will be listed. Link down below, emcvlogs.com. Make sure you guys go check it out. And this time, scroll all the way to the bottom. I know some people kind of scroll and they just think that if there's like two or three pages, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll definitely see it. I also do have keychains. I think I'm gonna actually do a little sale, probably $10 plus shipping, just to kind of move the ones that are sitting, the ones that I have left. I have a bunch of black and a bunch of white ones. The yellow ones, not so much. So I think I'm gonna do a sale on the black and white ones just to kind of move them out. So as you guys are watching this video, link down below will probably be the first two listings. A black and white off-white keychain, I don't think I have any to show at the moment, will be $10 plus shipping. The yellow will still be $15 just because I don't have much of the yellow, but um, the black ones are honestly so fire. $10 plus shipping, grab them while you can, um, just because I won't go any cheaper. $10 will literally be the cheapest, and I promise you, you guys will love the quality once you receive them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday, Sunday, with Mother's Day with your family. I took my mom out to brunch, and that's the reason why I didn't upload a video. Then I just kind of came home and just spent the Sunday with the pups. I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog at 8 p.m., and don't forget, guys, let's get it.